Creating a terminology database with déjà vu. In this presentation, we will see how to create a terminology database, how to add terms to the terminology database, how to add terms when translating, and how to import an Excel file. To create a terminology database, click on File, New, and Term Base. Follow the wizard, then name your terminology database. Click on Next. You can save different types of information in your terminology database. Of course the source term and its translation, but you can also add attributes. Deja Vu suggests different types of terminology databases with attribute structures. We will use the actual Deja Vu X template. Click on Next and your terminology database is created. To add a term, simply click on Add. You can type in the term, select the source language from the list, and specify some of the attributes. Some of the attributes are listed and for the context, you can simply type in the information wanted. Click on the translation button to add the translation of the new term. Same here you can fill in extra contextual information. When you press Add, the term is added to the terminology database with the source, the target and the selected attributes. You can also add a term while translating. Here is a translation project. Within a translation project, you can, while translating, select a source term, cave paintings, and its translation, peinture rupestre. By clicking the Add to Terminology Database button, a pop-up window opens in which you can edit the languages and check and edit the various attributes. When you press Add, the terms are added to the Terminology Database. We can check this now. A new term has been added to the terminology database. Cave paintings with its translation peinture rupestre. To import an existing Excel term list, click on File, Import, External Data. Follow the wizard. In the list of formats accepted by Deja Vu, select Excel. We are going to import this Excel file with four columns, the source language, target language, some comments and a date. We inform Deja Vu that the first line contains the field names. Then I have to tell Deja Vu which fields I want to import. 
Do I want to import the column called English? Yes, I do. I specify what type of information it contains. It's the main term, the main lemma. Its language is English. Do I want to import the column called French? Yes, I do. I select the type of information. It's the translation of the column English. The language of this column is French. I can now import the comments column. None of the listed items correspond to my comments solution, so I can add a new attribute. I name the new attribute and then I select the type of attribute it is. In our case, it is a text attribute. Do I want to import the column validation date? Let's say it doesn't contain any relevant information, so I am not going to import it. I can remove duplicates if needed. When I click on Next, Deja Vu imports my Excel file with the source term, target term and also the attributes I have added. Find more e-learning modules on www.atril.com.